Uh, good afternoon, everyone. So, the thing is, I'll be talking about tissue engineering today. So, basically, tissue engineering is uh, engineering of uh, tissues. It can be human or any other animal, plant, etc. So, we'll be talking particularly about uh, human tissue engineering. So, you know, uh, let's actually begin with a very small kind of uh, story of human organs, actually, in numbers. So, if you see right now, these are this is the data for you know uh, india alone so what you can see is that uh, the liver kidney cornea heart etc what we require actually are a uh, lot more than what we actually can manage so right now what we do is we take organs from kind of each other so uh, then the second story is about, say, medical research. If you want to do medical research, say, if you want to develop a new drug, new vaccine, or, uh, like, if, if you want to study some disease, etc., you need uh, models to work on. So you need artificial tissues, you need artificial, you know, uh, organs to work on. So this is the uh, kind of other story. So, uh, you know, usually it costs a lot to kind of develop a drug. That's like uh, of the order of 10 rich per 10 rupees, etc. So, uh, and the cost of failure is also pretty high. And the drugs mainly fail also during the development programs because we don't have kind of human -like models for them. So, uh, we need kind of tissues which are artificial, which are functional, and which are living and real. Now, uh, we, as a startup called Pandorum Technologies, we work on the design and uh, manufacturing of artificial tissues, uh, human tissues, which are kind of functional for few weeks. So recently we had developed uh, liver tissue. This is how it looks like. And, uh, uh, you know, it is the liver tissue because it possesses uh, several of the critical liver functions like the production of albumin, cholesterol, urea, fibronectin, etc., over an extended period of time. So it allows us to test uh, drugs, vaccines, and study uh, other stuff on, uh, you know, outside the human body. And actually, you can make many of them. So the various components of tissue engineering are basically, uh, if you want to make uh, human tissue, what all you need? You need basically human cells. The cells can be from cell lines or uh, banks, cell banks, or you know, uh, even from the biopsy of a patient, etc. You need bio-inks. Bio-inks are uh, mainly which will keep the cell in their native you know, kind of uh, healthy environment. And then you need a 3D printer, bioprinter, which can kind of pattern these cells or place these cells in an architecture, whatever architecture you want. If you want skin, you need to place it in the skin architecture. If you want, say, liver, you need to place it in the kind of liver architecture. And you need, uh, say, microfluidics, etc., wherein you will grow these tissues under body-like conditions. So now, what is happening today? It's not just us, actually. Across the world, obviously, you would have heard a lot of people working on 3D bioprinting, etc. So a lot of stuff is happening. So as of now, what is happening is basically people are making tissues and uh, you know small organoids for medical research. That's for the development of uh, affordable drugs, vaccines, etc., with less human and animal trials. So tomorrow, people will be looking at you know manufacturing uh, kind of smaller and simpler organs or tissues like the skin, the human cornea, and say uh, even maybe subdermal pancreas, etc. So also this kind of bioprinting and tissue engineering is useful for developing, say, extracorporeal life support systems. So, uh, say, if you have a liver failure, uh, you need to have an external liver at least outside till you get a liver for transplant. But uh, I would say that in tissue engineering, uh, it's not just bioprinting which is making the scene. There are other, you know, approaches also people are kind of adopting. Uh, it's like uh, growing human organs in a sheep or a pig or a baboon and then kind of, you know, trying to transplant it. And then there are approaches wherein you can use stem cells to make organoids from, say, bottoms up, actually. And uh, so eventually, all these technologies will kind of lead to uh, personalized human organs on demand, or say, you know, the whole human body, basically. So you can create anything from your uh, bone to, say, heart, liver, cornea, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, the future, basically, it'll either go to personalized organs on demand, or say to homo chipians. Homo chipians is a kind of uh, uh, you know, connected organs on a chip or animal on a chip, wherein you can create multiple copies of yourself actually on a chip and then you can try your various medicines, what will be good for you, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, 
We have been working for, say, since 2010 as a startup, and uh, we are actually from the Indian Institute of Science. We have been supported by the government of India through various grants, and uh, also, you know, uh, we are incubated at uh, incubation center called Center for Cellular and Molecular Platforms, and uh, we would like to thank all these organizations. And, uh, you know, last but not least, I would like to say that uh, I would like to thank the whole team at the, uh, you know, in the company, actually including my co-founder, uh, who is in this picture. Thanks. Thanks a lot.